Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, Flock Nation, man. What's good with y'all? How y'all feeling? Uh, I'm not I'm not covering the uh, Lamar Jackson situation for the time being. Uh, I already told y'all he's remaining uh, a Raven. So whether you want to keep uh, having uh, thoughts of he's going to leave this is an angle. Feel free, go ahead and knock yourself out. But I, I already did that part. But um, uh, I really just wanted to uh, say my piece because I had a lot to say in somebody's stream. But this is the shit my homie Fresh Life be talking about. You know, I still show love no matter if I fuck with somebody or not. You feel what I'm saying? I still show love. You know what I'm saying? And, and motherfuckers, they want to shout me out in the comments. They didn't want to read my comments. Little stuff like that. So... Let me get this out real quick, right? Um, the difference between the Eagles and the Ravens, right? Because apparently we supposed to be like other franchises and shit. That's what people keep saying. But people fail to realize all that goes into it, meaning details, the, the gray area, you feel me, right? I just sat there and heard Jalen... Jalen Hurts say a lot of people didn't even want me here. He wasn't specific on who didn't want him here, but I know a good, a good portion of the Eagles franchise and uh, uh, fan base did not fuck with Jalen Hurts. Okay, they still wanted Wentz. I don't, I'm not trying to hear it unless you unless you unless you tapped in with somebody that's an Eagles fan. You really not going to understand what the fuck I'm saying until you sat there and witnessed it but I sat there and witnessed it a lot of people was not fans of Jalen Hurts okay it was so bad to the point they was ready to get rid of dude if they didn't do what they had to do to get AJ Brown they was going to get rid of Jalen Hurts I promise you they was not fucking with Jalen Hurts yo that man went for and whatever the other season whatever whatever shit happened that ain't never been Lamar's situation. So I don't understand why people jump the gun and sit there and say that. If Lamar had a real bad losing season, then you could sit there and be like, oh, we need to get him a true number one. We need to get him this. We need to get him that. Because we had a, clearly had a losing season. But Lamar ain't really had a losing season. And he and we all know uh, the, uh, the wide receiver core is, how can I say, I, mid. You know what I'm saying? But he was getting it done with mid wide receiver since he stepped in the league. Facts. So, like, let's see how far we can get with this. And then people want to, again, people want to jump out there and sit there and say, oh, um, well, look at look at the Bengals. Look at, look, at, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Where did that get done? One more win over Lamar and then another loss? That's it? I, I don't know what dynamic there is to say. But we see dualities of it. There's too many to point to. You got arguably the number one wide receiver in the NFL in Justin Jefferson. How on earth did they lose? How? You got Diggs and Josh Allen. Everybody said that they was better than us. All this cap. How did they lose? You feel me? And then, uh, well, nobody wants to come because they waiting on Mark. Exactly my, that's, but <laughs> this is exactly why I feel the way I feel. Why would they not extend Lamar to a long-term deal? If you know the whole defense damn there functions better with Lamar there, and then on top of it, coaching in its own flourishes, they ride the coattails of Lamar, regardless of who it is. I, I don't care who comes in at OC. As long as it ain't Greg Roman coming back, I don't. I, you can't get no worse than that, yo. 
We cannot get no worse than that. They never once said Lamar was going to be a part of the process and off as a court date until this season or this year. People get mad because I see it in the little stream with uh, uh, the channel had and one of the comments they kept saying uh, EDC didn't surround Lamar this and that. The only fall you can give on EDC when it comes to drafting was uh, I I could maybe maybe Bateman maybe Bateman uh, also Kobe Bryant we should have went with Kobe Bryant in, instead of uh, Jalen Armour Davis and Pepe Williams. I, like I, I never, ne honest to God, y'all, I never would have went neither one of those two dudes. I was looking to get Kobe Bryant. He was there. Kobe Bryant uh, was one of the top DBs uh, this past season. He had over four, four, four forced fumbles. I want to say six low key, but he was a deep man. He was killing it, yo. So I'm mad we ain't really uh, do nothing with that. But um, um, and not getting George Pickens, picking Jordan Stout over George Pickens. That that's the only things you could probably get on EDC for. But other than that, he didn't brought Marcus Peters in. I still hope they keep Marcus Peters. Uh, he didn't got rid of Kenny Young who I don't know how he even got on the roster, but great, great switch and bait type deal. But uh, I'm trying to think. He got J.K. J.K.'s a dog. He's a young legend. Uh, he got Travis Jones. He went ahead and, and recruited Marcus Williams, who we all seen was an immediate impact. He went and got Roquan Smith, who we all seen was an immediate impact. You feel what I'm saying? Like he he's trying, he's trying, yo. And that brings me to my next point about the difference between the, the Eagles and, and the Ravens. The Eagles weren't scared to uh, remove head the head coach, the, the offensive coordinator or the head coach. They had no problems with doing so, even after he won the Super Bowl. So that's the only thing you can really sit there and say uh, and hold over the Ravens. Like, hey. Y'all didn't, and I'm with you all day on that. I'm with anybody all day on that because I, I am not a fan of John Harbaugh at all. But uh, how we how we listen to the fans? How we listen to the fans, man? You know what I'm saying? But it's nowhere in the fucking world I'm going to pay A.J. Brown $100 million, bro. It's not happening. I done seen A.J. Brown get clamped in the playoffs. How the fuck did the Titans draft him and didn't even pay him? Who did the Titans pay other than Derrick Henry? Why couldn't they pay him? Why? You feel what I'm saying? What would have hurt for Malik Willis to have A.J. Brown? They didn't care for him. So that's be my thing. If they ain't care for him, why the hell should we care for him to pay him that damn much? Like, come on, man. That's ridiculous, yo. Yeah, he put up numbers, but I keep saying this. The NFC is weak compared to the AFC, yo. Weak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yo. There's some players that are stand out and, and still do their part if they had this transition to, to the AFC side of it from the NFC. But it's two different things, yo. Two different things. No, no other team is really that built on both sides of the ball, uh... Other than the Eagles. And people still want to talk about, oh, Ravens still stuck on Bully. They still think. Clearly, Eagles still are, too, because they invested in a fucking DB. Or uh, 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 safety in, in, in C.J. Johnson Garner. Chauncey uh, Johnson Garner. Uh, I forget his whole fucking name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. They still invested in, uh, what's his name? Oh man, I forget to do it on defensive line. Uh, he was a draft pick for them. I know not Jordan Davis, but him too. You feel what I'm saying? They bolstered up. They bolstered the fuck up. They got Darius Slay. They wasn't sleeping. 
But they'll sit there and be like, oh, they're the number one team because of offense. If you really look at the team, they're stacked on the offense and defense. What the fuck? Niggas just be talking like... Word, just like the just like this ESPN shit with Lamar, man. Hundred million dollars apart. Bitch, there was a hundred million dollars apart when uh when they initially quote unquote gave him the uh the contract before this season, this past season. If there was a hundred million dollars apart, Lamar Lamar wouldn't even entertain the Ravens at all. Like, that's just, come on, man. Y'all got to wake up, yo. Y'all got to wake up, yo. I'm not falling for none of that shit, man. I don't know. It's like we got it bad up there with the Saints. They be they be killing the Saints with, with uh, calls and shit in the day season. But they don't want Baltimore Ravens to have nothing. I'm talking about, we, they don't want us to have shit, yo. I don't know who we pissed off for the football guys or, or, or in the league or good, good day. I don't know what the fuck going on. But they don't want Ravens to have shit, yo. These are the same motherfuckers that sat there and said Lamar wasn't even going to last this long in the lead. Say he was going to get hurt. He was going to have a career in the injury. His his play style is not don't last long in the lead. Now we sit here having conversations about uh, they not paying him. He deserves his top money. Ravens need to move on. Where the fuck? Like, come on, pick a side and stay there, yo. I ain't saying there ain't no room for growth, but you 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 went from negative to negative, or negative to positive, and then back to negative, sitting there saying we ain't gonna do something. How the fuck you know that? Like, come on, yo. Ain't no way, man. We gotta get, we gotta get, we gotta get about that that agenda they trying to push. Whatever that shit is, we gotta get above that. But uh. Yeah, I ain't tripping off recruitments or nothing like that. As long as we lock down Lamar, everything else is going to fall in line. Uh, there's no point in getting the offensive coordinator first if we don't get locked down Lamar. How the fuck we going to get the offensive coordinator if don't nobody know what's going on and what office we're going to have to run? I don't know, but they're going to have to make some business decisions very soon because we creeping up, up on the draft. And we need to get players for somebody's uh, said skill set. So, dude's got to come out somewhere, some some shape or form. Uh, I expect it to be much sooner than later, um, as far as the Super Bowl goes, because uh, I'm probably not gonna post nothing until uh, until after that. Um, I got Chiefs winning. I like Jalen Hurts. He's not better than Lamar. Let me just say that too. Uh, but win percentage versus win win percentage, the odds say Mahomes is going to fucking destroy the Eagles. That might not even be a blowout, but Mahomes is above seven hundred, above probably eight hundred win QB right now. He could easily easily very well be. Jalen Hurts is a five hundred or six hundred win QB. These are facts. Lamar is still better than that. So I don't, I don't, it's not to say no shade to Jalen Hurts, Eagles fans. I fuck with y'all, yo. There's no shade, man. But I don't know if y'all, y'all ready to take on uh, Patrick, Patrick Mahomes, man. I don't know. Chris Jones is playing lights out. I don't know, man. I don't see it, but it's going to be a good one. But I got Chiefs winning. Uh, damn it. It is what it is, yo. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other situations that happened. I don't uh, I really think that was about it. There's really no... The only difference between Eagles and the, and the Ravens is they weren't scared to get rid of their head coach and how we listen to the fans. EDC... All he has to do is either one of those two, man. That's it. We can deal with we can deal with John for right now for the time being. I know his ass is on the way out. He might even have to get fired. He could easily retire. I can see that happening all day. So uh, I'm not worried about that. Lamar be here longer than John Harbaugh will. I've been said this a couple months ago. 
But uh, yeah, man, Ravens flock, Ravens nation, flock nation. Um, till something else come out as far as uh, on the Mar behalf or the Ravens behalf, that's official, tissue. just on standby man we just got to be in fan mode but uh don't don't let this media craze right now uh uh get y'all out, out of character and, and what's supposed to be happening with the ravens and, and lamar jackson lamar stand man i can't stress that enough uh but uh i'll holler at y'all the next one man y'all be safe out here y'all protect your energy um dead ass because I seen a fucking car accident yesterday like right in front of my fucking face so y'all be safe man uh I'll holler at y'all the next one man I'm out